So here it is, the G90 BMW M5. And I think you'll all be very relieved when I tell you this fact. The new M5 comes with a 4.4 litre twin turbocharged V8, which it shares with the XM and the X5 and X6M competitions. This whopping V8 produces 585 brake horsepower alongside 750 Nm of torque. And as BMW have announced its hybrid, the electric motors produce 197 horsepower and 280 Nm of torque. Combined, it produces 727 horsepower and 1000 Nm of torque. Compared to the originally 28, it has gained over 600 Nm of torque and over 440 brake horsepower. It has gained about 0.6 of a ton in weight since the F90 generation, which is a lot, especially when you're thinking it is over a ton heavier than the original E28 M5. Its power to weight ratio has also also decreased by 36 horsepower per ton. Due to this weight increase, the 0 to 62 time has decreased by 2 tenths of a second compared to the M5 competition and half a second to the M5 CS. At this point in time, we have no confirmation if BMW are going to be creating a competition or even a CS model of the M5 G90. If they are going to, let me know what you think they'll look like and how much power they'll have. I'm thinking maybe over 600 horsepower out of that 4.4 litre twin turbo V8. Like many other modern performance cars, the G90 BMW M5 has a top speed limited to 155 miles an hour. However, optionally, you can get it increased to 189. And, you know, let's thank BMW for keeping the V8, unlike Mercedes, who put the 2 litre 4 cylinder in the C63S. The battery is 18.6 kilowatt hours, and it can go up to 69 kilometers or 43 miles. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's carry on and talk about the design of the new G90 M5. Like all of the other 5 series in this current generation, the M5 has some very similar design features. However, it is wider and it's also wider than the previous F90 M5. I really love the design of this M5. I love how the door handles are integrated. I love the big wheels. However, I think they could be even bigger for the size of this car. And I love that front grille, how they've actually made it useful, unlike the other lower end 5 Series models, even like the 520i. In particular, I love the rear bumper, how they've integrated that centerpiece potentially for the tow bar to pop out. And you know, when you come inside, it follows all the latest BMW interior systems which are absolutely fantastic. It has the M1 and M2 buttons, as well as the flappy paddles, which look great. And the new BMW flat bottom steering wheels are so cool. The wheels in this car also look great. At 21 inches, I think they are slightly undersized for a 5 Series. They could be bigger, but nonetheless, they look great. Those rear tail lights look so sharp, especially with the carbon pack when you get the little carbon splitter. And that illuminated grille actually looks quite cool with how dark the rest of the trim is on this specific example. And that frozen grey paint looks awesome. Potentially the best looking BMW M5 I have ever seen. That's a bold statement, but I think it looks a lot better than the previous generations. Let me know what you think, but I think most people would say the F90 looks the best. But for me, it's the G80 and I just love how, you know, I don't normally like the futuristic design of cars, however, I think BMW have nailed it with this one, with how aggressive it looks, which is often lacking in the modern cars. I'm glad this car is so good, because its starting price is £110,500. This car is mind-blowingly expensive, when you're considering you can get a pretty much brand new Audi R8 V10 performance for that price nowadays. However, they are very different purpose cars, and I think, personally, I would actually choose this M5 over that R8, especially if it was going to be for daily driving. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Make sure, as I said, reply to that pinned comment to suggest future videos. Your comments will be read and I'm going to respond to all of them. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.